home with me mrs k and thank you so much for choosing to watch this video with me today i have been to primark i do have two primark bags i have got a full clothing haul to show you guys today so that is it literally just clothes i've got nothing else to be showing you which i'm quite excited to do because i don't think i do a lot of clothing hauls just on their own i think i might have just done one before and that's about it i tend to kind of go in primark get some clothes and then get some homeware stuff as well and just kind of mix all of my bits and pieces together so yeah i don't think i've done many clothing hauls with just clothes on their own so i've got two primark bags but i have also got some clothes from peacocks and also asda i think so i'm just going to start by showing you what's in my bags but I am going to show you these first because these are so lovely. I got them in Asda and I just think they are the most cutest pair of trainers I've ever come across. I love to have pure white trainers. I'm not one of these girls. I don't tend to buy Nike or Adidas. I'm quite happy with a simple, cheap white shoe. And I thought, oh, these were so, so pretty. And I love the little flower detail on the side there and then you've also got them here just going towards the back bit as well and then on the inside of the sole there's a few little flowers in there as well but aren't they lovely really really lovely i love the little bits here as well where the laces go in i love the gold color really really pretty aren't they really really pretty and they were 16 pounds i think which for a pair of trainers I don't think it's that bad. So yeah, I've been dying to show those to you. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull out all of the items of clothes that are just kind of on the top of the bag and then just sort of tell you guys where they're from. This shirt, I've had my eye on this shirt a couple of times when I have gone into the shop and I've never picked it up, but I picked it up this particular weekend. Simon was with me and he said, oh, you picked this up last time you were in here. I said, I know, but it's, it's a little bit expensive. It's £18. I said to him, I just think that's really, really expensive. So he said, look, if you really like it, just get it and I will buy it for you. So I said, oh, okay, then I will have it. And I do love it. It's quite big. It does look massive, doesn't it? It is a size 12, but it does look absolutely huge. But I think that's because it's supposed to be like an oversized um, like shirt. So yeah, it is a size 12, but it does look ginormous, doesn't it? I love that the sleeves can roll up as well and I just love the colour I love the sage green stripe and I just think that's gonna look so lovely with those trainers isn't it a nice little vest top underneath now that the spring is coming so yeah I really really liked that now <laughs> I have bought myself some jeans which some of you guys might find very strange for me because if you guys have been with me for a long time you've probably have noticed that I am a leggings girl. I live in leggings. I wear leggings seven days a week and I absolutely love them. I haven't worn or owned a pair of jeans since I was around 18, 19 years old. But I thought, do you know what? I'm going to buy some jeans and I'm going to wear them in the springtime and the summertime. And I thought as well, these are just going to look so good with this and a nice white t-shirt or a white vest top. These were from Asda and they were priced at £17. They are a size 12. I have tried them on already and they fit absolutely perfectly. I will tell you a little story behind the whole jeans scenario. So I love jeans. I do love them. The whole reason I stopped buying jeans, which is a stupid reason. I know a lot of you guys are going to say it's a really, really silly reason, but I've always found wearing jeans makes my legs look absolutely ginormous. So I just stopped wearing them at a very young age and I've just been kind of stuck on black leggings ever since really. And I often go out, you know how you just go out, girls go out and we always look at other girls, we always look at what we're wearing, kind of get some style inspiration. And I'm always so envious of girls that just go out in jeans and I thought, you know what? This year is my year actually, where I am just gonna completely stop comparing myself to other girls, comparing my weight, comparing my looks, and I'm just gonna wear whatever I want to wear. I have put on a lot of weight over the last two years. I've put on two stone because I started on some antidepressants in 2021 and they've just 
made me gain a lot of weight but I have come to now realise, do you know what, it's good to be okay up here rather than be slim and poorly. So that's now how I look at stuff and I am no longer going to worry guys about if my belly is a little bit bloated or if my legs look a bit chunky. I am just going to go there and just wear whatever I like the look of and just not worry anymore. Yeah, I also got myself a swimming costume which I got in Primark. I have never owned a swimming costume in my entire life because I have a terrible fear of water guys. I absolutely hate water. I will not go on a boat. I don't even like taking the kids to the duck pond. Jessica is 11 years old and she will tell you quite embarrassingly if she goes to throw bread into the pond I get so nervous that I literally have to stand behind her. This is no lie and hold the back of her jumper and they all kind of take the mick out of me but I've just got such a bad phobia of water. I tried to get a little bit brave last year and I actually went to Dulwich Park which is the most beautiful park in London. I absolutely love it. They've got some lovely like pedal boats over there and I always look and I always get really really jealous. So last year I did it. I got the courage up and I did it. I mean the kids just literally took the absolute piss out of me and started rocking the boat. It was quite funny. But I did it and I'm so glad that I did do it. So another kind of fear that I want to conquer this year as well is my fear of water. So I have decided to get myself a costume and I am going to go swimming with the kids. Because every time we go on holiday, like when we go to Butlins or we go to Haven, I'm always sat there. The kids are in the pool, Simon's in the pool and I'm just looking on, wanting to get in. But because my phobia is just that bad, I never get in. So... That's why I bought this and I'm determined to do that this year. And it was only £10, which I don't think for a swimming costume is that bad. I'm going to tell you guys this little story. Okay, I think this is like one of the main reasons I don't like water. When I was in primary school, I had a horrific accident. We went swimming with the school and I pulled my leg in the swimming pool. So I had to get out, went back to school, went to the nurse's office had my leg checked and everything and then we headed out of the nurse's room for whatever reason I don't really remember but my hands were kind of standing resting like this and the nurse has closed the door and my finger got trapped in the like the hinge bit of the door my my thumb and she locked the door with the key as well and as you guys can imagine I was screaming I was in agony she's then trying to like ruffle around with the keys I just remember it like yesterday eventually unlocked the door opened it my thumb come out of the door and literally about half of my thumb was just dangling off you can still see like the scar to this day that I still have and I think ever since then, it's just kind of put me off of water. I can't even go into the swimming pool now. Like the smell of chlorine just brings back that hideous moment <laughs> that I had when the school nurse chopped off half of my thumb. So yeah, that's another reason why I don't like the water. You guys will come to learn this. The longer you watch me, the weirder I am. I am quite a weird person. <laughs> Right, let me show you the rest of the stuff that's in this bag. I promise I don't have any more weird stories to share with you. This is also from Primark. This is like a sports kind of spandex top, size medium, and it was only priced at £4, which I think is really, really good. I got this for whenever I, you know, want to go exercising or when I just want to dress a little bit casual, but I thought four quid was really, really cheap. Um... Oh, this I want to show you as well. I really love this. I have tried this on already and it's really, really lovely. So it's a t-shirt dress and it's got like ribbed lines all down it. But it's so lovely and it looks really, really nice on. And I'm sure this was cheap. Yeah, £7 for this, which is a size small, which is a 10 to 12. It is a little bit snug, I have to say. And I wasn't too sure. I tried it on and I thought, oh, do I like it? Do I not? It shows my bump a little bit because I do have a, a mum tongue. But I thought, do you know what? It's fine. It's fine now. I don't have to have a flat belly. I've come to realise that it's okay to have a little mum tongue. It's my kind of trophy, really, to show 
my two babies. So yeah, I've got that for myself and I thought again, this would look lovely with those trainers. I did really treat myself this week. I really, really have, but I did have some Mother's Day money. So I did treat myself with that. This jumper I got, which is from Asda, just a plain jumper, nothing too exciting. I do like plain clothes. You guys can probably see that. I don't really wear bold colors. I don't really wear any bold prints. I'm quite a plain Jane. I'm just a bit boring, really. This is a size large, which is actually for a size 16 to 18. But the reason I did that is because I really love to have a baggy, baggy jumper. You know, like how you wear your boyfriend's jumpers and they're just so much more snuggly than yours. That's why I decided to get like a really, really big size. And this was only eight quid, which I think for a jumper is really, really good. And I think it's a lovely color as well. A nice stone neutral color. Again, that's going to look really nice with those jeans and the um, trainers. I'm going to show you the bits that I got in Primark today as well. I have got a few bits and I've also got a few bits for Jake as well and also for his birthday that I'm going to stick away. Let me show you this top because it is the most prettiest baby pink colour ever. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Such a nice colour. I love these sports crop tops. I buy them every single time they come in Primark and every year they bring out the best colours. I've never seen it in this colour before so I had to grab it as soon as I saw it. They are kind of like bra sports tops but to be honest I wear these in the summertime with shorts. It just keeps you nice and cool and no one can really tell that these aren't crop tops so I use them for that. Cheaply priced as well. Yep £3.50. This is a size small which is a 10 to 12. They had a really really lovely soft lemon colour but sadly they didn't have my size so what I'm going to do is try a different Primark because I really really want to get the yellow colour. They also had it in sage green, baby blue, lilac but I just thought oh this is such a beautiful colour so that's that. Also got this t-shirt for myself really really cheaply priced as well guys £3.50 again which I think is just so good. It is like a crop top one so it's not like really really long. It's got a nice low long neck as well and I just love the colour. It's my favourite colour. I love sage green and I thought yeah this is going to be really really lovely in the summer and I thought this would go really nicely with the um, jeans. What else did I get myself today? I got this as well. This is new in. I think this is part of their summer range and it's absolutely lovely. So it is a shirt and it does have buttons. It does do up. So this is the white colour and it's completely sheer. So the idea of it is for you to wear over like your swimming costume or over your bikini. I saw it in the white colour, also black and a really, really nice dark forest green colour. Priced at £8 and this is again a size small, which is a 10 to 12. And then to go with this, I got this guys, a little bit risque, I have to warn you. I got myself this bikini top to just kind of wear under this shirt, I thought would be nice, with a nice pair of black shorts, just, you know, if you're at the beach or anything like that. I'm not one of these people, I don't like to walk around the beach in a bikini, I'm just not that confident to do it. But I don't mind wearing the top if I've got some shorts on and then like a nice blouse as well on top. But I thought that would look so lovely with this, wouldn't it? It's a nice black shorts and then you could even like scrunch it up, make a knot as well at the front. So yeah, the shirt was £8, which I thought was really, really cheap. This was so cheap as well. £2.50 and pence, and this is a size medium and they did have quite a few colours. They had a gorgeous forest green colour, like a really blight, um, blight? a really blight aqua blue colour. They had coral. They had some really nice colours with that actually, but I thought it's always safe to go with black. These are the black shorts, which I thought would go absolutely perfect with the shirt and the bikini top. I love these shorts. My entire summer drawer is full of the shorts. I get these every single year that they come out in the shops. They are priced at £10 and these are a size 12. They do have a pull string as well, which is great. So if they are just a little bit loose, you can tighten them. 
and then obviously if you have eaten a lot and you're feeling a little bit bloated you can just undo the string and just let yourself go these are actually from Matalan, so they're not from Primark, but I love these guys. They are absolutely lovely. And I also got myself another pair in this gorgeous, like stone beige color. I thought these would look so lovely with a nice white kind of tank top or a white t-shirt with some nice white flip flops. But yeah, I really, really do love the color of those. And I think they had a blue pair as well um now what else have i got in this bag oh look at this guys it's not clothing but i cannot believe that i found this in there bath bomb for jessica's easter bag and it's stitch i was like oh my god no way and it was only priced at one pound fifty which i think is really really cheap i was expecting this to be around three four pound just because it's stitch yeah one pound fifty for that so i think i'm going to pop that in her easter bag Talking of Easter bags, this is also going to go in Jake's Easter bag because I have put a t-shirt in Jessica's bag and I do like to kind of keep them as similar as I can. This one was only priced at three quid, which I thought was really, really cheap. And I love the color. It's very where Jake wears red. He normally wears like, he wears a lot of black or like navy blue. So I thought, oh, getting this burgundy color, it's something different. I just thought, yeah, he'd really like that. So I'm going to pop that in his Easter bag. Right, so that is my little bag done. So now I'm going to go on to the bigger bag. And I think most of the stuff in here is actually um, Jake's stuff. Let me show you this first, actually. Right, I know it's a bit confusing showing you all these different shops, so I do apologise. This jumper, which is absolutely lovely. So it's a crop top jumper a little bit baggy which i got for jessica she's gonna love that it says harvard on it she does love these like jersey tops it should have been 9.99 but it was reduced to five pound and i am actually going to write this down in my book and stick it away for a christmas or birthday present and that was from h&m right now i've got this outfit for jake i think i've mentioned it to you guys before he's kind of getting into fitness at the moment so we kind of doing some you know exercises at home he's got a cross trainer in his bedroom he's gone into boxing and stuff like that he's just trying to get a little bit more active really so i thought okay let's get him some sportswear some exercise wear so i got him this t-shirt which is like this really kind of slinky material you know like football shirt material so i got him this picked it up looked at the price and i literally couldn't believe the price of it guys four quid which I thought was so good and then it has this like reflective light on the back which is great if he goes like jogging in the dark but I thought four pound for that was so so cheap don't you think so I've got him that and then I got him the shorts to go with it as well which again were cheaply priced as well and these are all in a size medium from the menswear and these were five quid which I just thought again was really really cheap and they match the top they have like the little logo on as well but what i'm going to do with this i'm actually going to stick this away and wrap this set up for his birthday oh i've got this for myself as well again this is from a different shop this is actually from home bargains which really surprised me it's a off the shoulder summer dress and i thought oh this is lovely this is going to look really lovely in the summer wearing off the shoulder you know just nice loosely flowy dress in the summertime seven quid for that which i thought was really really good oh gosh i've got all of this to put away this is the one thing i don't like <laughs> when i do a shopping haul i've got tons of stuff to put away i've got him some new joggers in this really nice stone dark gray color and these are priced at six pounds each which i think for boys tracky bottoms is absolutely a bloody bargain I also got him them in the navy blue colour as well. So I'm just going to give those to him to stick in his clothing drawer because he does need some new tracky bottoms. And then I've got him some hoodies, which I am actually going to put away for his birthday because he has asked for clothes this year. I asked him what he wanted for his birthday. There was a load of books that he wanted. He said he wanted some new tracksuit bottoms, some new hoodies um some computer games and just gift cards and money really 
But I said to him, look, what kind of clothes do you want? Do you want to go to the sports shop? And he's like, no, honestly, I don't have to have Nike. I don't have to have Adidas. He said, I'm quite happy to have plain trousers and a plain jumper. Jake is very much like me. He is not into brand names whatsoever. His sister, on the other hand, oh, she does love a brand name. But yeah, luckily, Jake has got my jeans. So yeah, I've got him this hoodie, which again, I think is cheap for a hooded top nine pounds each for those and i've got in this really nice light gray color and then i also got this color as well which i thought was really nice and quite unusual it's a nice teal color isn't it lovely i thought that was really really nice such a nice color so that's that one and that one and then i have got in this max matching um and then I have got this matching tracksuit, which again, I am going to wrap up and stick away for his birthday. So these are the joggers. These are in a size medium. I love the color. I think it's such a nice blue color. And I do love the navy as well down the side. And then I also got him this jumper to go with it. And I think that's just gonna look so, so smart on him. I really, really do. The joggers were a little bit expensive, I have to say, guys, they were £14, which I do think was a little bit expensive. But then again, if you go in the sports shop, I went into the sports shop this morning. I walked in there, picked up a couple of things, and I nearly had a heart attack at the price. £45 for some Adidas tracksuit bottoms, £52 for a pair with the Nike logo on it. I was just like, oh my God, how can they like justify these prices? Um, so yeah, £14 for those isn't really that bad. But the jumper, weirdly, should have been £14 as well. But for whatever reason, it was marked down to 7 which was great for me. But I do love it. I love the colours. And hopefully, he's going to like that too. And I just think that's just going to look so nice on him and so smart. So let me just pop those back in here, just so I know what is his and what is mine. And then I think I've got one more thing left in this bag to show you guys. So that's all of, is that all of Jake's stuff? No, it's Jake's as well. So is that, that's for his Easter bag. Okay, right, so that's that bag. And then I've got one more thing to show you in here from Sports Direct, which was these pair of shorts, which I did get brand named off. So I did get the adidas ones he has a chelsea blue football shirt so i thought oh these would go really really nicely with that two for 28 pounds or they are 18 quid for one pair so yeah i've got him those to go with his chelsea shirt i need to get the rest of his birthday stuff this week his birthday is coming up in the next couple of days so i do need to get everything sorted i need to wrap everything up and I'm a little bit behind. Um, was there anything else I had to show you guys? I don't think that there was. I can't really, um, I can't really remember. I think there might have been a couple of tops that I got for Jessica, but I've already put them in her bedroom. Unless I can go and get them quickly. Should I just grab them? Yeah, let me grab them because you guys might like to see these. So yeah, here they are guys. I've already put them in the hangers on her wardrobe. Isn't this a pretty colour? Lovely sage green colour and it's got such cute little white flowers on there. And I loved this. It was priced at 4 99 and that was from H&M. And then I also got her this really nice plain ribbed beige t-shirt, which was £3 from Tesco. So yeah, I thought those were really, really cheap. I did get her some leggings as well. I got her some ribbed leggings which were reduced i think they should have been around 12 pound it was a gray pair and a khaki green pair and they were both reduced to five quid so i got her those as well but yeah i've put these in her wardrobe and told her that she can keep those for the summertime um next week my video that's going to be going up i think is going to be my easter one so i'm going to start decorating the flat for easter and then show you guys what i have got the kids for Easter, what I have got to go in their bags. Oh, this is staring at me, actually. I know this is was supposed to be a clothing shopping haul, but I can't believe I forgot to show these to you guys. So these are brand new in Asda. They are from Stacey Solomon's brand new 
Easter range and I absolutely love her range. I have to say the stuff is absolutely gorgeous. So I got these for Mother's Day. So this is the Easter sign that says Hello Spring. I think this was for 99 so Simon got me that for Mother's Day. And then he also got me this ruffled table runner. So I'm so, so excited to put this out on the table. I'm really excited to decorate this flat actually for Easter. I literally cannot wait because obviously I've never decorated the flat before for Easter in here. So I'm very excited to see how it all looks really. More videos coming up for you guys, which is really, really good. Thank you so much for watching today. I really, really do appreciate every single one of you that do take the time to sit down and watch my videos. So thank you very, very much. If you guys are new and this might be the first time you have watched today's video or first time you've seen my channel, I hope you've loved it and I hope you do choose to stick around with us as well and be a part of the Mrs K family. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you are all okay. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Thank you. Mwah.